Something that I can't stop doing is looking at r slash am I the a-hole and today I found a post of am I the a-hole for telling my sister she'd go to hell for watching gacha farts. I mean it's a dead account that posted this but their name is childkicker4567. I mean I just can't believe it. it's got so bad for people that they have to go on a subreddit and ask people hey what my sister's watching gacha farts. <laughs> What should I do? <laughs> Here is an example of what you'll find when you look up gacha farts. Just, hey, look, gassy payback, gacha fart. This has 78,000 views. Hey, do you mind pulling up my panties just so I don't sag in them? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Dear diary, hello, my little lovelies. Thanks for clicking on this video. Have a video suggestion or want a shout out? Hey guys, if you, you want a shout out, <laughs> go to a gacha fart video. So let's give this a read. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's go. I have a little sister who's six years old who's been using her iPad unsupervised for the longest time. We never saw an issue with this because I downloaded any app she has and her YouTube has always been specifically curated for children's content. Oh yeah, because Gacha doesn't find its way into that. Plus, I always peek over her shoulder to see what she's up to. Recently, I saw my sister intently watching a Gacha video. She got really into Gacha lately. All of a sudden, this little Gacha boy shrunk down another Gacha boy and laid him down on the bed, sat on him and let out a 13 second fart sound. <laughs> like how intently was she watching this video? Was she in like a trance while this poor boy was just farting on this other kid? I mean, you wouldn't even have to be watching the content. If you were sat on the settee across from her and you just heard a 13 second long fart, you'd just think, what are you, <laughs> what are you watching? She also apparently counted how long this fart was. But it gets worse. The other boy moaned. After reading the comments, I found out this was fetish content. Why the frick are people making fetish out of a children's game? And why is YouTube allowing it to stay up? So, so, some of them have millions of freaking views. Yeah, I've never really understood it and I have to find this content. Some of the content I find, I'm like, this has more content, this has more views than me. And it's just some kid farting. <laughs> but let's keep reading. At first, I thought it wasn't a huge issue because I thought her line of thinking was farts are funny. <laughs> but <laughs> but this was the first time she tried to hide what she was watching from me. So I could tell she knew it was bad. So I told her she couldn't watch it anymore. And I changed her YouTube officially to kids YouTube. Then my sister was playing with older children at her house a few weeks later. I heard them argue about which one of them would be the toilet. Then one child said, pretend you had a lot of Taco Bell and you haven't gone to the bathroom all day. What? <laughs> what? what the hell? I didn't think this would be this bad. I like read the title. I was like, oh, this will be... This will be good for a YouTube video, but what what is gonna come next? But just but just imagine being a parent and you just go, oh, my kids are having so much fun with your kids, and you go to check on them, and <laughs> they're just pretending to be a toilet. The next thing I knew, they were sitting on each other and making poo noises. When I came into the living room, they jumped away from each other and started arguing about <laughs> whose idea it was. Then I realized my sister was using my Switch to watch unfiltered content all the time with blanket over her head. Man, this little sister is really going to some extreme lengths to watch some gacha fart videos. But let's keep reading. I talked to my sister often and I told her not to watch it and she didn't listen. She never ever lies, so I knew she understood the videos were not okay to watch. Today I saw her watching it again. She looked quiet and guilty. Now my sister is very religious somehow, literally no one else in our house is, and tries to be good to please God and Jesus while really, really setting the standard low here. So I told her God would cry and be mad that she's watching Gacha Far and she's going straight to hell if she watches it again. Yeah, one of the 10 commandments is thou shall not watch Gacha Fart videos. Anyway, it didn't seem to phase her too much. Well, of course not. She's watching Gacha Fart videos. She isn't phased by anything. She has been caught 
watching this, but she turned it off immediately and after listening through the door, she's not watching it anymore. Am I the a-hole and what should I say to her about the content without explaining to her what it is? What do you guys think the response is going to be to this? Do you think the sister is bad for telling her sister she isn't going to get into heaven because she's watching Gacha Farts? Personally, I don't think you should tell a six-year-old that they're going to go to hell for watching it. But at the same time, what, what else could you do? It's, it's clearly pretty weird. Someone's responded with, you're the a-hole. <laughs> <laughs> you mentally abused your sister by telling her she would go to hell. Does she know <laughs> Does she know what content <laughs> it is she, that she's watching? She's a little kid that just thinks farts are funny. Look, we've all seen Getcha fart videos. They're, <laughs> they're, not, they're not just fart noises. My guess is the second. I would also wage she was mimicking the <laughs> spaghetti aspect of the video and just wanted to make funny fart noises saying her soul would be damned for tournament for all of eternity for mimicking what she perceived as a funny video is cruel. Just say watching fart videos are immature and block that content creator. I mean, yeah, that's a fair point. You, you definitely don't want to tell a six-year-old you're gonna go to hell for watching this type of content. It's not really gonna do them any good. Someone just responded here with massive, you're the a-hole. You abuse the name of God to add some power into your voice to make yourself more credible to a child. It's bad enough when people do it to other adults, but doing it to a kid is nasty. That's right, guys. When the sister told her little sister to stop watching Getcha Farts, the sky just opened up, a finger came down, and God just said, Get in the bin. Go apologize and tell your little sister God forgives her for watching those videos. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but God didn't tell me that you'd actually go to hell for watching gacha fart videos. But please, can you stop watching them? Like I said before, I don't think this person was necessarily wrong for telling their sister for, to stop watching this type of content because it is weird. A six-year-old should not be watching this type of content. But at the same time, I really don't think you should tell a six-year-old they're gonna go to hell for watching a specific type of content. But then again, I don't know how I would approach, say if I had a six-year-old sister, I don't know how I would approach telling her that this content was bad if she is generally enjoying it. Even though there is a much deeper reason behind this content being made. Like in this case, gacha fart videos. There's nothing really, in my opinion, comedic about it. It's just weird. But what would you guys do in this situation? How would you approach your younger sibling watching this type of content. I would love to hear about what you would do in the comments. With all that being said, I think that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. This might be a new style of content we're doing, but I'll tweak it up a little bit. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time. Hey, look, gassy payback, gacha fart.